Hello everybody, so today we're doing our first Tears of the Kingdom challenge run. Today, I'm gonna to be trying to complete the entire game of Tears of the Kingdom, which includes all of the dungeons without ever receiving the paraglider. So that's gonna mean a lot of Zonai devices, a lot of building, and a lot of pain. So with that being said, let's get right into it and let's see how long this takes, shall we? Decayed Massasword. All right, we're immediately gonna pick this up because I think it's very important to remember to have pants for this run. We do not wanna be pantless. I should definitely pick up a couple of food objects here. I'm telling you, even though I think this is probably possible, I don't think that this is gonna be a, I wouldn't say it's not gonna be a fun challenge, but it's gonna be like pain in a couple of areas. I'm definitely gonna have to do the Rito one later because the Rito one is definitely going to require a lot of Zonite. <laughs> gonna get some equipment i think the game plan is going to be this get through early game as quickly as possible get a couple of shrines in different areas like that kind of get a bunch of good equipment and then start going to the dungeons because i definitely don't want to go to the dungeons without any equipment all right we are done with the sky island it took us less than an hour let's go down All right, so since I don't have a paraglider, you can keep re-attacking by entering your dive animation, canceling it, and then taking out your weapon, which lets you move further uh, than you're supposed to without a paraglider, which will definitely be very useful. And right now I'm just doing it for the meme, uh, but basically I'm just going to this pond right here of water instead of the one down there, so I have less running distance when I get down to the surface. There's definitely going to be a lot of clever mechanics we're going to use to get around the paraglider. Oh god, I messed up. I might not make it. I should have used use a glider. I'm not sure why I didn't. Imagine I did all of this and I don't make it. Oh, no! It's so close! Come on, I was over the water, man! God damn it. That's so unfair, dude. Alright, we'll jump down normally. I think running would have also been faster than the 50 swings we did. But come on, chat, let's be honest. We all loved the sound. I'm gonna let this cutscene play for a tiny bit just because I love this woman. R respectfully, chat, respectfully. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor. You know, this really comes as a shock to a lot of people, but I spend a lot of hours in front of monitors. I mean, come on, I literally play video games for a living. And you know what I absolutely hate? Whenever I get done with like a long speed run, imagine like Breath of the Wild 100%. And as I get done, my eyes are just killing me. I have a headache and you just wish there was a solution for it. Well, there is. What usually would cause is ice cream for a lot of people if they're in front of monitors, you know, maybe you have a job with it, maybe you just play a lot of games, you name it, is usually due to blue light. And blue light can cause a lot of things, not only eye strain, but also blue light worsens your sleep quality if you're checking your phone before bed, you name it, there's a lot of different situations. So, GMG glasses is an easy and pretty good looking, in my opinion, solution to this issue. It works on all monitors, it helps reduce the strain your eyes are going to get, which hopefully, if you're having issues like I have sometimes, it can help you, you know, with better sleep sleep and it can help you know reduce some of those headaches and best of all they have multiple different models on their website you can check a bunch of them out uh, in the link in the description and if you check out the link in the description right now you will get 40 percent off that's right from when this video goes live for the next 48 hours you will get 40 percent off which is basically a two for one deal so definitely be sure to check out the link in the description thank you so much gmg for sponsoring this video so I actually want to get down to the depths, which you might think is a very, very big issue, but there's a couple of ways that I will be able to get down to the depth without having the paraglider. One is to have an object, you drop it and you hang on the edge. The second way is a lot more difficult. I uh, might fail it a few times, but uh, this is what I'm gonna do right now, which is fall damage cancel, which is a trick that you can do. It's more like a trick rather than a glitch. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump down here and I'm gonna be diving. And then I need to time this right before I land on the ground. I didn't realize the ground came. Oh, we, get, we, we got the next try. We get the next try. Got it. There we go. All right. 
And now we're in the depths. And now I technically, unless I go to a new area, shouldn't have to redo that because I already have it. Wait, can this seriously not break it? I can, it's just very weak. Oh, nice, large zonite, that's what I wanted. Three large zonite from one? That is some of the luckiest thing I've ever seen. What? Yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of batteries because we're gonna need to use a lot of them for, um, for gaining height, since we will not have a paraglider. If you're wondering why I'm going down here right now, I basically want to get auto build unlocked immediately because auto build is going to help a lot. All right, we did it. We made it to central mine. Man, one heart, huh? I might go over to that light route over there to get my health back. Because I, I don't want to use the sun lion I have though. Not yet. Wait, I just realized something. If I don't care about the mine, I do. I could technically just like never do this. You can technically get Ultra Hand and just never do this fight, huh? Didn't even think about that the first time I was here. Whoa, that's crazy. Now try and rebuild it over there. You got it. Boink. <gasps> Not the Yiga clan! Uh oh. Master Koga. Wow, I did not merge any weapons. All my weapons suck. This is still gonna be really bad, but it's better than nothing. Oh man, we're about to run out of weapons, dude. I guess I use an amber and this. Wait, can I just like... <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. Easy clap, there we go. All right, we did it. Unlocked central mine, baby. I think for this one, we're gonna get some large crystals and some large zonai, because we win a lot of zonai stuff. So I'm gonna partially farm a little bit and partially do some other stuff to give me these equipments fast. So let's do it. All right, now we got some batteries. Uh, let's go for some shrines. Bro, I'm gonna have to like time this really well and like start running right as it Now Okay, let's get this as close to the wall as possible Jump slash Oh my god jump slashing there does not give you distance I have an idea what if we immediately take away the weapon and then perform a dive and then cancel the dive and then do a jump slash because then you can do it then you can actually gain four momentum oh i didn't even have to do the jump slash just entering a dive can make you change your momentum oh no okay getting over here should be fine but getting back the other way i'm scared this is going to result in some fall damage uh-oh Please don't die. <laughs> okay. I landed on the spike and survived the quarter of a heart. I think if it didn't do the jump slash and I landed here, I would have actually died. Okay. Whew, that required some brain power, dude. Believe it or not, some of these shrines are actually more fun and puzzly without the paraglider. Like, I'm having a more fun challenge right now than I would have if I didn't. I really thought I could get past him. Don't! I swear to God. Yeah, no paraglider is actually way more rough than I thought because I'm realizing that the main way I used to do movement was by using towers flying up and then going around places. So not having those is way rougher than I thought. You are supposed to have the paraglider and do this launch and then paraglider the last part. I'm going to try and see if you get more speed by using both. If not, the only other option I have is very, very painful, but I can technically do infinite jumps. It's so close. Maybe, maybe chat's right. Maybe if I stack them, it just 
barely high enough enough to where I can do it. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right. Ooh, you definitely need to paraglide here. I'll try, but I think you take out the paraglider in the end. Wait, can I, wait, can I steal this metal piece and triple stack them? Okay. Uh... Oh God, fall damage though. Oh no, I'm gonna... That is true, it technically did work. Oh, come on. I could theoretically do that if I have a bit more height. I'm still gonna take fall damage. Please tell me that's barely not high enough enough to kill me. Please. Damn it. Okay, so I actually think I don't have to care about the ball. I think as long as I have one and a half, I think I can just barely make it in terms of distance and height. Why not dupe fairies? I don't want to dupe fairies because it would defeat 90% of the purpose and challenge of this. If that makes sense. Like most of the fun challenge and trickery with this would literally be obsolete by just having fairies. Okay, we're going to try this chat. We're going to put this here and then we're going to get this and we're going to put it on the side about here. And hopefully this is good. Yes! Okay. Whew! Man, I actually really enjoy figuring these shrines out without the paraglider. This is awesome. No. Hi, Sidon. I never like to think too thoroughly about Sidon. Oh, crap. Getting those fish. Aren't those up in the sky, those fish? Oh, you can get some of the fish from the statue? Oh, really? Yes. Yay! Zora armor. Okay, I have to enter the dive animation, uh, otherwise I can't move afterwards. Give me the scale! <laughs> oh man, it just ends in the middle there. Uh, I think I actually have to build a flying machine to get up there easily. Wait. Uh, if I take out a fan... Then I have to make sure to turn off the fan soon. Hold on. Right now, I'm gonna turn it off. Oh no, I might have done it too late. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Are you shitting me? Come on, bro. All right, I have a second option. We're just gonna go straight for that waterfall with the balloon. And just hope for the best. Okay. There we go. Alright, we got this. No! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, thank god. Yeah, you do a dive to move right afterwards. Okay. Whew. Not the sludge-like. Yeah, you go, Sidon. Yeah, you go, Sidon. Oh, what a man. Sidon is almost doing more attack than I am. This boss is a lot easier than I remember when I fought him. I definitely does, this game definitely does really well when it comes to scaling. Because the only reason this is way easier than I remember it is because this is my first dungeon. Nice. Is everyone all right? We're okay. All right. Back for day number two. Uh, where we left off, we were getting ready to go into the Zora area. So let's do it. I pressed... Oh, I don't have... I, I forgot already. I don't have the paraglider. I... Oh, I messed up. I messed up. I should be able to extend this jump over there. Hold on. So if I stand here... go without the paraglider to get over there huh i think i might have to use some of my zonai devices 
Ah, uh, because I think this is too far to make it with your swimming. You could also slow swim. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's slow swim with a speed off elixir because that makes the slow swim not so slow. Yeah, people that don't know, if you use the speed up, it doesn't just speed up walking and running speeds. It also speeds up slow swimming and uh, climbing speeds. Easy clap. Yeah, you can do it, Sidon. <laughs> I hope... Okay, I actually never tried this because casually... You would just like paraglider in the middle. Can you get to, do you just get to the middle by trying to swim? Okay, you do. Okay, I was gonna say, cause I've never tried to swim to the middle. I've always just paraglidered and dropped in the middle. I was like, uh. <laughs> yeah, my casual playthrough, I cheese this a lot. Trust me, I'm also gonna try and cheese it in this one as well. Whee. Okay, now we're gonna start setting up the cheese strats. I have an idea for how to cheese this. Okay, so we just have to build a really tall thing. Like a really long bridge. I have, I'm assuming the intended way is to go up there and try and get the water out there, but that seems, I don't see like easy accessible rocks there. So I'm guessing to do the ending thing, it's gonna be more complicated. I think my bridge strat though is gonna work perfectly fine, Chad. Just look at this beautiful bridge we're building. Okay, I think this is long enough. Wow, that is so deep. Okay, it works, so then I can climb and then jump off. Okay, I think I can climb around because there's an opening on the left, but I'm just scared I'm gonna run out of stamina here. Please let me stand on this little corner here. Okay, this will work, but I think I just need to make sure it's on the front side instead of here. Okay, we're set up. Here we go. Okay, so now we just have to go here. We have to move this forward. Then we move this down. We move this forward. And then we drop it. Yes. The angle is perfectly enough to where you gain height even if you press B to jump off of it. And you can still get up. We got this. Just gotta take our time. There we go. This was definitely the fastest way. It was crazy, Sidon. Okay, I need, for some of my plans to get up here, I need rockets. So I actually can't do this yet. I'm sorry, chat, but I'm gonna have to debate y'all. I can't do this yet. I want slash need rockets because this one requires a lot of height and without the paraglider, this one is gonna be rough otherwise. So that being said, we have to get creative here. We're gonna go to the depths, we're gonna make a flying machine, and then we're gonna save the flying machine in our history with auto build, so we are able to use it in the sky. Someone in chat said, doesn't Terrytown Suspenser let you get rockets? I think you're right. So I might not even have to go up tall, uh, high up into the sky for it. All right, Chad, we're going to Terrytown. Now, honestly, this might sound stupid, but I've never actually thought about how close Terrytown is to Zora's Domain. Have any of you guys realized that before? I don't know why, but I think of Akala as like a region that's so much further away. Oh, baby. This is all I've ever wanted. Bye. All right, Chad, we're gonna do this. Oh my god, this is the vehicles one. This one is sick. We're gonna get a tank. Hold it. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Time to get a tank. I don't even know what to do with all of these things. Let's just spec it out. Let's just let's just go let's just go crazy, chat. Let's show them who's the boss. <laughs> Jesus, what happened? What? Did the cannonball just explode like itself? All right, maybe we be more, more careful with the cannons. I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him. Oh! Dude, it, it just started spraying fire in my face. I almost just died. Dude! 
Okay, this is very dangerous. This auto-aim thing is, like, extremely dangerous. Stop! <laughs> I died again because the cannon decided to shoot itself. All right, that's it. Chad, let's go over here. No, you know what? I'm just gonna aim both of them forward. And I'm just literally gonna go for the strat of just straight up running over everything. This works. I hate how the non-OP car was easier because it didn't self-destruct. All right, everybody say hi to Terratown. I'm not paying you. Ain't no way I'm paying that, homie. Let's get some devices, shall we? I've actually never tried five big ones. Let's see how much you get from it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm running out of space. I should be able to get some of my rockets now. And steering sticks. That was the two main things I wanted. Oh my god, there are more of them. Now, let's go and do Zora, shall we? Alright. Let's enter our first dungeon. Oh, it still uses up the rocket. I was really hoping if you cancel it multiple times that you could like keep it, keep it going. Maybe there's a timing for it. <laughs> oh, hell no. They are way too strong. I just want to try and think of a more clever solution. You just have one. Like, that's why I'm not using the hoverboard build. I think it would be a boring challenge if I make a hoverboard build and I just continuously use that throughout the entire thing. You know what I mean? Because otherwise I could literally just reuse the same thing. Okay, I have a really dumb idea. What if I use fans as the platform to stand on? So I... Because I need something to stand on that's not weighing too much. It doesn't pull me down too much. So what if... Hmm. Okay, wait. No, this could work if I use a third fan. So let's take out a third fan. And then, you know what? I'm a little bit paranoid. Let's actually take two out on the side here too. So it's like a full-out platform here. Okay. But then we also need to actually be making it towards there. So... I'm also going to take out another fan, and I'm gonna put it in an angle like this. All right, let's just try and just go and see what happens. Oh God. Oh God. Ah! Oh! I have a different idea. Okay, hold on, hold on a second, Chad. What if we just make a nine by nine platform. And then we just put a steering wheel in the middle. Here we go. Yes. Oh my God, we're going up so fast. Oh my God, I need to make a landing. This is gonna take so much battery power. The juice. Yes, we're doing it. We're doing it. Yes, Sidon. Oh god, I need to run out of battery right here because I don't want to take fall damage. Oh god, I don't want to take fall damage. Okay, just stay on. Just stay on. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. No! Okay. Sorry, Sidon. Oh, if you want to play that game, so can I. How does that feel? Look at this. Sidon, let's do our thing. Holy sh! Quarter of a heart, dude. I'm ready. Wee. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. No. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fly up. I think. Wait, wait. Rocket shield. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's so many small things that is intended to have the paraglider for. They're like, oh no. No! 
Holy. All right, Sidon, let's do this. I definitely can use a slower solution, but I prefer the idea of using a uh, rocket jump. It's just so cool. Oh, sh I didn't think this through. Oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna take fall damage and die. What if I land in this part? Oh my God, this cancels your fall damage. Oh, thank God. Okay, I'm gonna do something because I don't want to fight these guys because I'm really low. I'm gonna lure them here by the water and then I'm gonna have them fall into the water because they insta die in water. So we're gonna go around him, knock him, bam. I wonder if anyone has that's watching his playthrough right now on either Twitch or YouTube is going to start doing the strat now too. I feel like it's such a 5 edge strat that not enough people do the uh, when it comes to dropping Zonite people into the water for getting an insta-kill. This one though is a little bit more annoying because this one is a bow guy, so I think I might have to do two shots. Yeah, one more and he's good. Sidon! You literally made it worse! I swear. <laughs> We love you, Sidon, but come on, bro. Okay, land in this for canceling fall damage. Man, I'm really happy this is canceling fall damage. Otherwise, I'd be so screwed. Oh, this is like right underneath the room. Oh, sh wait, does this let me skip the puzzle? <gasps> Wait, that's so good! No, it closed! I shouldn't have left. Dude, I'm definitely gonna do that in the speed run. Okay, Sidon, wait here. Hold on. We have to do it now. Yes! Nice. You did it, Link. I did it! Sidon, I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. We did it as a team. We're a team, Sidon. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. Not a Mokdorok. I've never fought this as my first boss, so I'm really interested to see how difficult slash easy it will be, because I know this game has very aggressive, in a good way, not a complaint, uh, scaling. Sidon, I need you. Hey, that's not fair. He dodged my attack. That's like rude and stuff. What? That literally hit him. What? I'm not going to use Flash Fruit. I refuse to waste it just because this game is being Pepega. It's time to show everybody who is the boss. We got this, homie. Come on, Sidon. Sidon, it would be nice if you actually try to help me. Sidon. Sidon, please. I'm begging you. Okay. Fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> All right. First dungeon done. Easy clap. Honestly, not too bad. Other than having to get up to the dungeon and using a couple of rocket jumps here and there, honestly, not too bad. All right, we got one dungeon done. Now, let's do our second dungeon, shall we? But maybe we should do some shrines first, actually. Hmm. Maybe there's some shrines that could be, like, on the way or something. Uh, is this one going to get more annoying without paraglider? I don't actually know. Okay, I think if I have forward momentum, I could do it. Okay, it does, but I'm gonna definitely have to do a couple of extra jumps in the air. I know I could leave the shrine, fuse a rocket, but I want to do it in a different way than just doing that forever solution. Hold on, I got this. What if I just go for gaining even more height? What if... Huh? 
That's genius. Speed food. If I time it correctly with my run, I think speed food would be the solution. No! Are you serious? I didn't think it was full damage! Okay, with speed up it works, but god damn it! Please. Okay. Oh, thank god. Okay. I'm on a boat. Wait, no, sorry. I'm on a balloon. Everybody look at me, because I'm on a balloon. Oh no. Oh no, will it? Oh no. Oh no. Do not void me out. Do not void me out. Oh god. Saved. Okay. Dude, I have been way too close to falling way too many times. I This better not despawn until I reach the mountain, because I will take fall damage if it does. I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, we're fine. We stuck the landing, Chad. Do you think I can make my own little, like, hovercraft to get up this mountain? Like, if I do this, do you think this would work? Could have used a control stick, that would have been smarter. I'm gonna build the easier design. It's slightly less optimal, but... But no, I could obviously use this design most of the time, but I'm trying to avoid using this design everywhere. I'm gonna use it to get to the village, so we don't have to run the whole way. I'm gonna build one of the biggest cars in the world. This is gonna be the size of a truck. Trucks! Uh-oh, he's pissed. It's funny how this make it look like it's gonna be a real boss fight and then it's about as hard as Goma from Ocarina of Time. I think Ocarina of Time's Goma is actually harder, but yeah. Giga Chad. Okay. That's a pretty good idea, Chad. Oh no, I'm not over the hole. I don't want to just do fall damage cancel. I think I have an idea, chat. I'm going to make a really, really, really weak plane that purposely doesn't float. Okay, and then I'm going to put a steering wheel on it and two fans. Just let me cook, let me cook. I know this is going to sound really weird, but let me cook. No! Come on! It will work. I just need to- I just wanted to go more forward. What if I try and, like, grab this ledge? <laughs> this will work. Just trust me. Okay, we're doing it. We're descending. The annoying thing is I need to use a lot of batteries because if I jump off of this thing, it's gonna start gliding, which is gonna become an issue very quickly because it will hit the wall. Come on. How are we not there yet? Oh, God. <sighs> okay. Well, this is progress. No! Damn it! I was trying to cancel it, so I grabbed it instead of hit it. Because I had to do, like, a grab animation. Damn it. Oh man. I just got a crazy idea, Chad. What if we build a box? And then we have we build ourselves stuck inside of a box with a steering wheel, so that like we will never fall away from the steering wheel. Okay. Box time. Can you put a steering wheel in the middle? You can. Okay, cool. No, you don't get it, Chad. I'm not actually gonna be using it. You you don't see the strat. 
I'm just gonna be inside of the box and then temporarily every now and then press A to start the steering wheel because that means I can't take any damage. I just gotta cook, let me cook, let me cook chat, let me cook. Okay, now we just need a roof. What exactly am I doing? I'm building a box. Ascend in, genius. What do you guys think? Do you think this is gonna work? Let's save the game so we have it saved in auto build. We're gonna hold it up here. We're gonna move it around a little bit. Recall. <gasps> no. Yes! 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 Holy <laughs> shit! Oh god! No! <laughs> Damn it! Okay. I just, okay, I think it could work. I think this could work. We're on to something, all right? Okay, hold. This is gonna work, chat. Trust me. Just trust, all right? Just trust me. No. God damn it! Okay, I have a different idea. Dude, this is looking absolutely perfect. Holy shit. We are on to something major right now. I think this will be so stable, I don't even think I need to cover all the holes. Let's try. This is not gonna work. Okay, we need to we need to go back to the drawing board. Balloons. We can make a box out of the balloons. This is one of the best things I've ever seen. Oh yeah. Like you just know this is gonna work. Cause think about it, balloons are soft. They will like they will like soften my landing. I just had a way smarter idea. Wait. Okay, I'll try this plan. This won't work, I don't think, but I have I just got an even better plan. I'm going to make an actual box, but like uh, like this one like will work. Trust me. Here we go. Oh my god, wait. Holy sh It's wait. There's no way. This is somehow floating. Oh god, wait. Does that mean this wing is going to despawn eventually? It's fine. It's fine. I have a solution. I have a solution. Wait, what if I just purposely hit this wall and let the balloons just like boom, boom, boom. Then I go down faster. Yes. Yes. No, do not fall out. Do not fall out. No, 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 no. It's fine. I'm just gonna dive and grab this ledge first try right now. Watch me. Okay, now my ultimate plan. This one is actually like next level. You're no one is ready for this. We're gonna make a box out of steering wheels. It's so genius. Cause then it doesn't matter if it flips over to the other side. I can still control it. The fuse limit is 21. No, don't tell me that's true. That has to be a lie. In that case, we have to go for the backup plan, Chad. All right, here we go. This will work. It is perfect in every regard. Here we go. It's fine, I'll catch it in midair. It's fine, I'm gonna catch it in midair. Okay, I'm co yeah, I'm getting close to choosing the easy way, Chad. What's the easy way? Fall damage cancel or a fairy? Okay, I gotta think. Wait, I haven't tried wheels. A box of wheels? Why did I not think of this sooner? Trust me, the wheels are gonna dampen my fall. This will work. Holy sh wait, that actually did work as long as I don't fall out. I actually think that could work if I don't fall out. Go over here. You can shake off parts with the motion controls? Who thought that was a good idea? Dude, that's it. I'm eating Taco Bell for dinner. I really hate to say this, Chad, but I think we need more wheels. 
I just did it again. I just did it again. I feel like this is a good thing. It's like the shape lets you like stick it in places, you know? I feel like this would be able to cover up the holes pretty well. And kind of just like plug the holes like this. I think this might be the hole. This might be the issue. Wait. Wait, we might not need all of them. I think that's the only area that's open enough for it. Bam. Hole covered. This is it. It's finally gonna work. I'm telling you. We finally cracked the case. Oh my god, please. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. No, that's fine. It's just a little bit of damage. A, B, C, S. It would still be better than the casual way of getting the fairy. A quick little A, B, C, S. That's it. That's the one. This is it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it only took an hour. <laughs> but we got down without using the stupid fairy. <laughs> an hour well spent. I gotta go ASAP, dude. Taco Bell is closing in like 22 minutes, right? Uh, this took me way longer. I gotta go, all right? I'm gonna go get my Taco Bell. I'm pretty sure this guy teleports. So I don't think I have to follow him along. I think I can kind of just run by myself. Okay, let's get some Zonite stuff. <laughs> okay, it's missing two wheels. Okay, and then I'm gonna activate my speed up because I'm manually gonna climb without jumping and I don't wanna waste a thousand years. Oh, sh Okay. We're gonna have to build a bridge, Chad. Look, this is perfect. <laughs> build a box bridge? Listen, I really do enjoy the box designs, but I need a bit of a break from them. Oh my god, I could've just run around and gone up here manually. I did all of that and I didn't even have to. I could have just like walked around. Oh my goodness. What? What? Go, go, go. <laughs> Dude, I get, love how I hit him and he went, uh oh, vroom. All right, I actually am not super excited about doing this dungeon without a paraglider because I don't know about you guys, but I kind of did half of this dungeon intended and then I kind of cheesed the rest of the half by just like flying and climbing my way up to the top. So it's definitely gonna take some more brain power to do this one without the paraglider. We did it! Oh my goodness! A diamond? Yes! Wait, is this literally just a circle? Damn it, he did a climb up animation. Okay, I think if I time it correctly, I can climb that pillar up. Wait, even if I do though, I don't have the paraglider. I wouldn't be able to make that jump. Oh my God, the carts are never gonna come back, are they? Man, without a notch, this is gonna be kind of annoying. You can walk on them if you have a very steady hand. Sure. I know I could have shield surf on it, but I want to waste my durability on my shield. This is the only shield I have. Wow. Are my friends not going to do anything? Thank you. Okay, I think a rocket should do it. I hope. Let's find out. Here I go. 
Hmm. I think I can just climb this up. We are going to attach this here. Yeah, I'm actually having to think about how to do some of the puzzles because I <laughs> skipped this all in my casual playthrough. I need to get through here. I feel like I could probably go around the building on the outside here by climbing. What is that pose he's in? What the hell am I watching? Homie! Wait, where the hell is the entrance again? Oh God, wait. I thought the entrance was at the top floor and you dropped down. Is that not it? Am I stupid? Is it the floor four one you enter here? Is that the one? Point, 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 point. Okay. I'm guessing he's just gonna be rude and not spawn here, huh? I'm guessing there's not enough space for him to spawn here because he's a big boy. Come on, you have plenty of space to spawn here. I don't want to go back up. Oh! Oh, let's go, dude! Oh, no, I just realized something terrible about this area. Oh, no, this is gonna be so bad. I can do it! Okay, so I want to get back to the floor I was at. Uh, I'm gonna try a jump here, but... Please. And now I just have to get over here. Okay, I could have definitely gone around or climbed up the floor, but I didn't want to take the time to do that, so that works. Infinite jumps, baby. I'm gonna try something, but this might end up being really bad, so I'm gonna make a save just in case. Whew. Okay, just barely clutched out. Getting the fall damage, cancel out before landing there. All right. What? Excuse me? You want to tell me that did not hit it? That's all the locks. All right, let's prepare some better weapons now because I am definitely going to need some better equipment. It opened. No way. Yeah, let's smash those rocks to save Princess Zelda, Copium. Uh-oh. Yeah, where's Zelda? Mod check? Oh no, it's a rock! Oh no, it's another rock! Not the marbled Goma! Easy clap. Bye. Okay. GG, that's two dungeons down without the paraglider. Oh my goodness. The war on drugs. It won! We won! Let's go! There is no more drugs in Hyrule. Oh no, not a blood moon. Wait, a blood moon? For people that don't know, if you in the last few minutes before a blood moon happens, cook, you are guaranteed like a critical cooking or whatever you want to call it. Okay, I don't have too much time, but that's fine. Okay, we're out of meal slots. We got a lot of stuff now. What? What do you mean? I'm Link. I'm ready. I've never done this. Question one. How can you best warm up when it's cold? Vigorously fan myself, pour water on my head, stay near a fire, I give up. Stay near a fire. 
<laughs> what cooking ingredient is effective at fending off high temperatures? Oh shit, I always mix these two up. Is it Sun's rooms or Chill's rooms? I always, I can't ever remember if it's the opposite of what they are or if it's the same as they are. Chill's rooms, okay. Where in Garuda Canyon could you go to avoid being affected by the extreme temperatures, day or night? Into a cave, into the shade, and near the ruins, or I give up? Okay, this one is actually kind of weird, champ. I want to say it's cave. Oh, thanks. You can cool yourself down temporarily if you split one of those with a weapon and stand in this resulting spray. I did not know that. What if I just strip down naked? Like, this should cool me down. This is bullshit. Do you think that if I build, like, if I use this car, can I go over these things? They see me rolling. They hating. This is a Ford F-150. It drinks 50 gallons an hour of gas. Yeah, big truck. I'm so stupid. I I literally started and I forgot that this is a no paraglider run. I am so stupid. For clarification, in case that makes it in the YouTube video, I haven't played for a few days, so I kind of forgot. But it's all right, all right? Now, now I know, now I know, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm no, I'm not permitted here, but I'm a giga chat. I actually have to go down here because I don't have a paraglider. <clears throat> oh, you've got to be kidding me. You know what? Actually, I can just use recall. Okay. I'm actually going to let this cutscene play because I think she's a giga chad. Linkus, would you rate this game as a top three best Zelda game of all time? Well, I actually would have to rank this number one. Giga Chad. Oh man, she's not ready. God damn it, it just disappeared. Whoa! Wait, can you actually? Hold on. <laughs> uh, so funny. With icy meat, you can skate without friction. That's bullshit. There's no way. What? Holy shit, I didn't even know that. I see me in a shield is OP, dude. Dude, another reason I don't think I'm ever going to be able to become a vegan. Are you kidding me? Look at the power of this meat. I'm forever going to uh, get frozen meat on my shields now. This is crazy. It's also not even like low durability. Oh. <gasps> It's a Triforce! Oh my goodness! Running around at the speed of sound. Oh my goodness. It's a dungeon. I never figured out an optimal way to fight this guy. Wait, I just realized something. There is sand already on top of the switch that should be pressing it down. So we have to blow away the sand to then step on it because of weight. What? Wouldn't the sand that was sitting on it already be pushing that down? These flames make it impossible to go further. She did try to warn me that is true. I'm actually gonna go and pick up a couple of Korok seeds. I'm actually kind of annoyed about my weapon space. So I'm actually gonna quickly just go ahead and just zoom out and just get a few Korok seeds. Okay, and let's get a few more and then I should be able to upgrade just a few of my weapon slots. Yahaha, <laughs> you found me. All right, you know what? You're so close. I'll help you find your friend. All right. 11 should be pretty good. Now let's go and talk to Hastu. I think he's on the path right here from him correctly. 
Am I stupid? Is he was is Hestu, is Hestu not here on the way? Is this not where he is? Am I stupid? No, Hestu should go to lookout landing after you talk to him once here on this hill. I'm looking at the picture. He should be right here with two trees in front of him. It should be dead ass right here. I guess it's maybe because of the two dungeons first. Yeah, maybe he automatically goes to lookout landing. Yay, Hestu! I literally never skip this cutscene. I refuse to skip the cutscene in Tears of the Kingdom. Unlike Breath of the Wild, where I eventually get tired of it, this one I can't, dude. I love this dance. All right, we got some inventory slots. You okay? Oh shit. Okay. Where's the girl? Where is the girl? Bro, where were you? Yeah, I think Ryu is actually an adult because of how many years took place in between Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. All right, let's do the boss. Hello, Queen Gibdo. I'm just gonna get down the four pillars first and then take out the Gibdo. Oh my god, right as I shoot it, it opens. What? I did not realize I was gonna go one hit by that. Are you serious? Oh my god. That one hits me without any armor. All right, I actually gotta like pay more attention. I'm so used to never having to worry about any fights because in my casual playthrough, I did, I did a lot of shrines. I'm just gonna put it that way. So I always had so much health and armor and equipment that I've never had to actually avoid an enemy. Come over here quickly, please. Bam. All right, that should be it. God damn it. Bam. Got him. All right. Dude, I love I I love icy meat. Oh no. Are you serious? It doesn't go high enough. No! God damn it! Is this water even deep enough? Oh, I'm dead. Okay, this rock should actually be close enough to where I can get up on it. Oof, okay. Oh my god, fairies. Oh god. <laughs> Jesus. That was way too close. Draw your bow in midair. Well, I hope there's something I can jump off. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to use bombs on my shield. Oh, okay, I can do this. Because here's the thing, right? Once again, I'm trying to do as much as I can without using a flying machine because it feels very cheesy. But I don't think I can think of a single way without a flying machine in some regard to get up to the one above Korok Forest. Time to use the flying machine. Oh my god, I didn't save it in my history. This is the worst one I've ever made. I'm gonna rebuild it right here because this looks like some flat ground. Would this work? I actually don't know. You know what? Sure, I just wanted to gain height. I do have to readjust it to the left, but you know what? This will gain me the height I need, sure. Okay, I just need to make sure I'm above it when I drop down here so I can land in the water. Okay, that looks good. Okay. All right, let's do it. New record! The reason I'm getting the full glide set is because I'm about to do the fourth dungeon, which will be Wind Temple. And I think having a better way, because currently my way to reduce fall damage is either constantly do a glitch, have fairies, which is a very boring solution, or get the glide outfit. So I thought, let's get the glide outfit 
so I can have a nicer way of dealing with it. Oh, I haven't even gotten to Hatana, I just realized. Let me go and actually get the shrine so I have Hatana unlocked, sure. Chat, do you want to know what one of the saddest things I've noticed in this game is, by the way? In Breath of the Wild, if you owned the Twilight Princess Wolf amiibo, you were able to spawn the wolf in the game. If you scan the Twilight Princess Wolf amiibo in Tears of the Kingdom, this is what happens. It's just a bunch of meat, man. It's not even like a chest or anything. Like you don't get a chest, no other items. You just get meat. All right, I'm just gonna, I think for this one, I can't see any way without using glitches or a flying machine to get all the way up there out there. So I'm just gonna use my flying machine to get up the broken one that I probably should fix, but whatever, it will do the job. What? What? I guess I'm just gonna make a new one that's actually better designed and more flat. Dude, this last dive one is so high up. Jesus Christ. I guess when you have the paraglider, it's not bad to get up here, but <laughs> without the paraglider, man, do you have to fly for a while. Oh, God. Oh, come on. Let's go again. Okay, we did it. Oh, all right. Oh, I never registered a horse. Shit, I need to get a horse. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally made a speedrun profile over my main profile on Breath of the Wild, so my horses are not gonna come over. I'm just gonna let you know that save file is long gone. Oh, I need to actually have this unlocked from the Ritos. Oh, that's silly. All right, I'm actually just gonna take out my hovercraft here. I don't quite feel like running all the way to Rito. You know what? I'm gonna do the thing. I'm just gonna call this out. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna get over there without actually using a hovercraft. I'm gonna try something just simple, child. Let's just try a simple idea first. How about rocket tree? I feel like it would work. How about we just put this here, and then we shoot the rockets. Ooh! See? It worked! Alright, let's buy some cold clothes. So we don't have to keep bothering with food. Alright, let's go and get this upgrade now. Perfect! Time to do the horse quest! Yeehaw, partner! Oh, wait, we're not at the horse quest yet. Hold on. We can't do it too soon. We can only do it when we're doing the horse quest. All right, hor horse quest. All right. It's going to ride. Here we go. We're on our way, boys. Oh, man. This is how we do it down here in the south. All right. Sorry, chat. We're done with the, we're done with the horse quest, meaning cowboy hat's coming off. Is it? It's the second one when they go down left to the map, but you can't do it because you have to go and do the Fireflies quest to get them their third one, right? I think that's the order you have to do, right? You can do it out of order, really? Are you sure? Oh, you just need the right band member unlocked. Okay, gotcha. I can't believe she just blindly trusts me. Hey, follow me. Okay, where are we going? Runs out into the woods with me. Okay. Oh my god, I went to the wrong one. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Uh, where are they? Oh my god, I think they're locked in there because I talked to them. We're here, we can start upgrading stuff. Oh, I forgot. Oh no. Whoa, good, good ride. Good ride, everyone. Yeehaw. I have never done this on my casual file, but according to chat, if I get level 2 on the glide outfit, I should be able to have no fall damage. So, let's see if chat didn't troll me. Impact proof. Yeah, I think it works. True. You know what, chat? Let's do an ultimate test. 
Let's jump off of the Sky Island and just like, bam on the ground. It looks wrong. That looks wrong. I'm happy it works, but it looks wrong. Let's beat a couple of shrines so we get some more health because I will definitely need it. Ride with the winds. Yeah, okay, I might as well just leave this shrine. Uh, bye. Yeah, okay, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna leave, like, immediately. There's not even a point of trying, alright? It's just, that ain't happening. I just thought of something. Instead of following the intended path of going through all the caves, do you think I could just try and run up to quote-unquote where I'm supposed to and it would just, like, let me? Please be here, Tolan. Please, don't you bait me. Oh, thank god. Oh no, the monster took your good bow. I don't have a paraglider to get over there. Do you think I can just like snipe him from over here and it will teleport me through the cutscene? Ooh, genius, Chad. Use an eye. You guys are smart. I like you. Uh, a wing, but yeah, let's use a wing because then we get a straight shot. Nice. Thanks, Chad. Thanks for your suggestion. Now for Wind Temple, I'm gonna attempt to do basically as many original strats as I can. What I mean by that is I do not wanna just have a flying machine and just like fly through it because that would literally defeat the purpose of the challenge. So I'm not saying that if something is not possible, I would not result to using an auto build, but I wanna try my very, very best to figure it out and get through it without. I made sure to get the full glide suit, meaning that when I jump on one of those trampoline things, I will be able to move around a lot better. And let's see if we can just make it to the first part here by just doing a rocket shield. And then let's try and do a jump, shield jump. Do you not gain height doing that without low gravity? Oh no, okay, so in low gravity, if you do that, you actually still gain height. So I thought I could do that as well here. Okay, in that case, how much do I actually gain in terms of height here? Let me see. I have an idea. How about we take out a wing, we have it angled like this, we keep it here, and then we move it up as high as we can. Then we drop it, recall. While it's recalling, we take out our ascend ability. Nice, okay. That's the first part. <laughs> we just got up on the first platform, okay. For this, I actually do have some things to work with. Actually, I think I can just ascend up here. Nice, okay. I don't know if I can make it over there with a full glide outfit or if that's too far of a distance. I'm gonna make a save and then I'm just gonna see. It's like so close. Okay, I think I can actually make that. I think I don't have to do anything super crazy there. Or actually, wait, I could just do this. I think dead ass, I am so close to reaching it. I actually think this would be enough. Didn't get a run jump from it, okay. What if I just like make the tiniest? Wait. Oh my God, there's another platform above me. I didn't even see that. Well, that was a good misclick. I think for these platforms, because of how much height you gain, I actually think with just the wingsuit, I can make it. Yeah. The wingsuit was definitely a good play. Yeah, I can just jump down there. I definitely want to unlock the shrine. Okay. Nice. All right, confirmed. You can actually do that shrine without the paraglider by just using the wingsuit. Nice. Oh, God. Uh, I actually don't know if I will be able to make this jump. Okay, here we go. Well, I'm hoping that the easy solution works for these parts. Can I technically just... Nope, it's not enough. I think definitely some spring shields would be very, very useful. You know what? I'm going to get some springs quickly. Spring is in Gerudo Canyon, Cluda Sky, and Lanayru Sky. Gerudo Canyon sounds easiest, but I don't know where that is. 
All right, the Zona Dispensary is supposed to be after this big rock here on the other side. All right, let's get some springs. All right, let's see if springs can give us the forward momentum we need to do this now. Otherwise, I'm going to be a little bit sad. Okay, it does give you the four momentum, but not enough for this specific one. But that's good to know. Okay, so that actually does help. I think what I can do is put this out here, slash it and walk forward as it activates. Bam, okay, nice. All right, the springs are definitely gonna help a lot. We're definitely gonna have to use a couple of springs. I do need to actually uh, get some better weapons. The scaling in this game is very, very rough otherwise. Okay, so for this Sonai Spear, we're gonna get the horn. This one is durability up, so we'll do this. Okay, for this one, I think a spring jump will do the job. Okay, we're gonna land here. Can I go here? Hmm. For this one, there's no purpose to go up here. I think it's better to just go straight for that. And I think I should be able to make that jump by just putting these here together. Uh, yeah, just a little bit of height here on these blocks should be enough, honestly. Attach this. Attach this. All right. A spring will not do the job here. Okay, I think we can combine multiple things here. I'm thinking this, chat. Let's take out a rocket. We're gonna fuse that to our shield. And then we're gonna walk. And I think now we're gonna take this out. We're gonna drop a wing. So to get the distance perfect here. I wonder if I can make my life easier instead of having to get perfect distance by instead just doing this. And then could I just like recall and then just like drop it while it's here? Okay, I can. I just need to not be stupid and use my shield. Why did it take so long that time? What? Okay, I have a different idea, Chad. It's called take out two rockets and a, and a wing and just hope for the best. If this doesn't work, I'm literally quitting. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, dude, if that didn't work, I don't know what would, man. Where do I go here again? Uh, okay, I'm going right here. For anyone who wondered how you're gonna get past these sections, this is why I got the wingsuit. Hey, air balloon time! I love the air balloons in this game. Okay, I'm just gonna go as high up as I can because there's not often times where I have a chance to do this much height. Oh God. Oh God. Okay, I'm gonna have to land on this boat right here and then try and fly over there. Oh, please. Okay. Nice. This might be the easiest shrine that um, I'm ever gonna do. Here we go. This is where things are gonna get really annoying. I'm gonna try to just go forward as much as I can with a wingsuit, but I don't think it will be enough. Hmm, this is where things are gonna get a lot more difficult. Can I launch a wing on this trampoline, do you think? I wonder. No, it's too heavy. It doesn't actually properly launch. Okay, what about if I attempt to, as I'm going upwards, take out the wing? <sighs> Wait, what if I then land a second time and then catch it? Oh, shit. okay, 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 okay. I think we can do this. We launch up the first time, we drop the wing, we go back down, we launch a second time and try and make it to the wing because that would be closer than the platform and then we use the wing to make it to the end and then I recall through the bottom of the platform. That might actually work. Hold on, let me cook, let me cook. 
Holy sh! Holy sh! Yes! <laughs> okay, that works. Okay, I can get on this one. I think on the next one I'll be able to make this jump. Gonna go for it. All right. It's also flying away from me. That's gonna be really difficult. How close is the closest one behind me? It's not that close. I don't think I'll make that. I'm gonna try, I'll try. I'm just gonna have to jump around and wait for cycles to match up more. But I think like this is as far as it gets, unless those ships are fast. Oh my God, wait. Okay. Okay. Oh no, I missed. Okay, Chad, we're gonna have to do a whole lap. I'm just gonna get on it and we're just gonna wait for a full lap. Almost there. All right. Oh my god, thank god it didn't die. I forgot because it's cold, I unequipped one of mine and you don't take, you take fall damage if you do that. Thank you for having so much hearts. That would have been so sad if I just died because I ran out of health and I took fall damage. Let's pray that we can make it far enough into the middle on one of these jumps here. All right, we did it. We actually made it into the dungeon. Oh no, it's not opening. No! Whoa, it looks like a giant fan. This is the only time I'll ever use your ability. God damn it! Okay, I'm gonna try and get the one on the top as quickly as I can, because that would require me to use these side ones. Okay, you can just barely make them. Okay, good. I keep forgetting about the fall damage part. Where's the door? I need to line up very well for these doors. And bam, no fall damage. Just gonna climb around. It's taking our time. Yeah. All right, time for the boss, Chad. I don't know how this is gonna go, if I'm being honest with you. I'm giving this one like a 50 50. All right, let's do it. I think. I think the only way I can actually have a chance, I think I think I have to run to the sides and try and use these ships to launch myself up. I can't think of another way to gain height. Damn it. All right, there we go. First phase done. Honestly, because of the spring on the side, this is not too difficult actually, especially because in the Gerudo first, I have like the really good zoom in bow. Ouch. That should work. Tornado. Dude, the tornadoes deal a lot of damage. I think I did it. Easy clap. That is four dungeons complete. Now I just have to figure out how the hell I'm supposed to get up to the fifth dungeon. I know how I'm feeling like we can get through doing the objectives for the fifth dungeon without too much difficulty, but getting up to it is what I'm really like kind of ugh about right now. Hmm. Let me see how how close can I get? Damn. Uh, maybe if I had, maybe if I knew it was gonna drop and I had a spring ready on top of it, I could have maybe made it work. That rock that dropped earlier might be my best chance, honestly. 
Yeah, I can't start properly the quest because I'd have to continue my progression with Pura and that would require me to get the paraglider. I hope this one goes as high up as the other one. Nope, it did not. That's unfortunate. That one isn't good enough. Wait, am I seeing another one drop? That one is also closer. That one could work. Not high enough. I really want to, I really wanted to actually use a rock and not just a balloon or a flying device, but I don't know about getting the correct rock drop. Hold on. I just got a different idea, Chad. Hold on. Let me get one more falling rock. Hold on. Hold on, and then right as it ends, we're gonna activate the rockets. Okay, I could've probably- I could've almost made it up there too, but that's fine. At least we made it halfway, which is what matters. Wow, this area is terrible. Oh my god, it is the right island. Holy sh- what? I thought this was only halfway up. Never mind, we did it. Dude, okay. I thought that the tallest one was the one we needed to get to. Wait, what? I did this early on my playthrough. Let's try and beat the shrine. Dude, imagine if you actually need the quest for the paraglider to do this. Maybe you have to get the paraglider quest. I'm gonna try and save, and then I'm gonna go and get the paraglider and then teleport back and see if you can do it. To just, and if it's not that, then we know there's something else. So I'm gonna make a save here so I can reload before I get the paraglider. Okay, so now we got regional phenomena. Let's see if that's what's it connected to. There's no actual way. There's no way it's connected to that. No, it's connected to the paraglider. You have to start regional phenomenas. I'm going to try this. What if without getting the paraglider, we maybe are able to activate the quest with the Impa for activating tiers? Maybe unlocking that would flag would have would set a flag that lets us do this dungeon without getting the paraglider. Yeah, I went back to the save before we got the paraglider. I have another thing that I'm wondering right now if this doesn't work, which is I wonder if I can get around the flag for the paraglider if I get the Massa Sword first. Okay, so now I have activated the quest for tears, the main quest. Let's see if that lets us open it. All right, we're going to attempt to get the Master Sword. Now we got the Master Sword. Is that enough to be able to activate the fifth dungeon or is it just completely screwed? There is basically nothing else I can do. Did Nintendo seriously lock the fifth dungeon behind the paraglider but none of the other four? Please. Well, I guess basically that means you get to stay in the depths. You know what? If you literally don't want to be saved because I have a paraglider, keep your soul in this thing. Yeah, go right ahead, dude. If you like being a floating head on this pedestal for the rest of time, you do you. All right, well, in that case, I guess it's time to head to Howard Castle. Quick little side note, by the way. I I'm gonna be honest with you, before I started this challenge, I actually tried offline to make sure that you could do dungeons without getting the paraglider, because I actually thought it wouldn't even let you do that. But I went in for the Ritos as a test offline before I started this, and I found out you could, and I was surprised by it. So I don't get why Nintendo lets you do the other four, but not the fifth one. Like, it makes no sense. Why four out of five? All right, for this last part, let's actually have the champions unlocked. Wait, that actually does a pretty good amount of damage. Man, I don't want to fight this enemy. Ouch. All right. Now give me some good loot. You know what? I, I'm just gonna do this. There we go. Do know the speedrun strat for this room. 
Bye. Oh my god, Chad, it's like the start of the game. Coincidence? Yeah, I think so. Oh, hell nah. I don't want to fight him. Uh, let me just do this. Well, I no longer have a fairy for the final fight. Okay, I just got to prepare some equipment. Here we go. Time for the one and only boss I could not do without the paraglider. I don't even know how I'm going to fight this without the mech. Oh, do I just like hit it? Maybe electric arrows? Really? That still hit? What kind of a hitbox is that? Here we go. Try number two on the boss. I'm actually going to be honest. This is way harder to fight without the construct. Uh, let's try and use a shock fruit. Okay, let's just use Nobo during the attack. That works. Can I knock him back with bomb arrows? All right. There we go. All right, that should be it. GG. All right, now we just have to not die against Ganon, and we're good. What? You have to fight Phantom Ganon too? Dude, I'm really happy I got this Lionel bow. Killing the Lionel was definitely the strat. I'm out of arrows? I actually really want that Gloom Spear. Okay, that's it. We did it. All right. So is it actually then true that if I drop this Gloom Spear and then put it on this, I will have the attack, but I won't get the Gloom effect? Is that basically it? Yes? Okay. I'm not, I'm not even keeping it. I literally just want, like, I want this gone. I don't even want to see that thing ever again in my life. All right, let's hope we don't die. How is that not a flurry rush? Thank you. I don't even know what the attack that is, but I'm getting out. Oh, you're supposed to fly up into the air. Yeah. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I'm dead, dude. Why is gloom resistant not resistant towards gloom attacks? I'm dead. All right, time to just do damage less last the face. One heart in a dream. I have nothing in my inventory that would let me do a gloom effect. Oh, you respawn here? Oh, thank God. Okay, that was better than the first time. Now we just have to get through second phase without taking too much damage. Well, that was a good start. Well, great start. It's okay. This will at least make me incredibly good at parrying this fight. So anytime in the future I have to do a challenge, I will have a lot of practice in this fight now. All right, one more face. What? You have to do two flare rushes in this one? Yeah, I beat this game. I was able to tank it because of how OP I was in my playthrough. Part of me wants to leave to get better food so I don't have to do this without it being able to take any damage, but part of me also kind of don't want to leave, so I don't know what to do. Damage less first and second phase. Holy sh- All right, that was perfect. Okay, we have full health for the last phase. I literally, it does not work to flurry rush out of his flurry rush. I swear to God, 
The, the, it just doesn't work. The timing doesn't work. It's always too late. I can't, it's just like, it doesn't even look like the timing. Dodging right away doesn't work. You still have to wait. It makes no sense. Oh my God, I did it. That's my first one. Let me check. Do we have any attack up? Oh wait, we can do defense cooking. That could actually help. And we got some strength. Okay. Let's let's let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. Okay, I'm gonna save that for last phase. All right. There's we're waiting. We're gonna wait and keep it until last phase. Okay. Okay. So we use defense up on phase two, and then we do attack up on phase three. All right. This is the one. This is the one. Terrible start, but that's fine. I have never even seen that attack before. Dude, why on the one where we finally have a strat do we like mess up on the first one? Why? Whatever, dude. I'm just gonna rush through it at this point. This attempt is our, I've already given up on this attempt. Meat shield, it's your time to shine. Where even is he? All right, here we go. I'm just gonna apply the attack up and I'm just gonna hope for the best. I don't care, I, we're just gonna do it. Dude, just go, just go, just go. All right, attack up is so OP, okay. Oh, we just brute forced the end there. I was like, all right, screw it. We we're just dealing so much damage. We're just gonna tank it and go for it, man. Now we know attack up is always the answer. Now, I don't know how to do this part without the paraglider, but I hope our little dragon friend will pick us up whenever I miss Ganon and I'm a little bit of Pega. Hey, good thing we got the Massasaur, Chad. That fight without the Massasaur, rip. Here we go. Dude, attack up is so OP, it's insane. Here we go. Oh my God. Whew. And there it is. Time ends once we save Zelda. And... Time. Yeah, without the Pura side quest to get the paraglider, four out of five dungeons are possible. You can get the Master Sword and you can get the tears. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But anyway, if you guys are watching this on YouTube right now, definitely don't subscribe to the YouTube channel for more awesome content like this. More speedrun content, more challenge content, and more awesome glitch videos are coming out on Tears of the Kingdom. So do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And if you want to watch two other awesome videos, one is a breakdown of the any percent speedrun and how we beat it in under one hour. And the other one is just a cool little glitch video, some of the best glitches on 1.1.1. Then uh, you should click on the screen right now. That being said, if you want to be here live, you can also check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash linka7. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all, and I will see you all in the next one. Later, everybody. Bye-bye.